Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to talk about clay. And we have a box from Vever. And in this box, there is a pottery wheel. I like to go out and I like to harvest clay naturally from the landscape and I fire these over a campfire. Now just like this little shot glass size little cup here, these are just things that I like playing with. Here's one that when I got it finished, you can see my initials on the bottom, when I got it finished I poured wax in it and made a little candle holder and it was really cool. Here's a cup that I made and I use the coil method when I make these little things and some of them turn out some of them crack I fire them over campfire here's a large thick bowl and this one's cool I mean this stuff is fun I like messing around with clay in this little ice cream bucket is some local clay that I've harvested from the little Colorado River and I've already added temper to this clay. I'm really excited. When Vever reached out and they said, hey, we have a pottery wheel, would you be interested in looking at that and reviewing it for us? Heck yeah, because I already have interest in the hobby of messing with clay. I've never done a pottery wheel before. So right off the bat, I want to say thank you to Vever for sending this pottery wheel out for review. I'm very excited about it. Now the working voltage, is 100 to 240 volts this has a 350 watt motor and it has an rpm of 0 to 310 rpms very cool it's 53 centimeters by 43 centimeters by 42 and a half centimeters it weighs 118 kilograms that's net weight gross weight 13.7 kilograms i've always had interest in a pottery wheel. I've just never had one. In fact, I thought about buying one of these and it, it was funny because I had been looking at them and about the same time I had been looking at them, Vever reached out and they said, hey, are you interested in a pottery wheel? And I'm like, um, what a coincidence. Yes, absolutely. So what a blessing it is, you know. So the first thing we see here is a little cardboard pottery wheel user manual. Here is some specifications of the unit. It's got a breakdown and it basically tells you the basics of throwing pottery, which I'm gonna learn. Never done it before. So the first thing we see here looks like a foot pedal. Set that down. First impression the finish is nice. We have a power button, clockwise or counterclockwise, I think, and then up and down in your speed. This thing's nice. There's a look at the bottom. There's a label for you guys to read. It's probably got the specs of the unit. So quite interesting. It's got these little legs. Very cool. This little wheel has a little textured filling to it almost like a like a record player would have very very interesting the wires are tucked underneath it's got these little rubber feet looks like this just snaps together something like that boom and that's supposed to catch all the water then you have your foot pedal got like a little gear in there so that's cool so you can just choose how fast you want it to go on the end of the cord here it looks like there's like a little circuit breaker pretty cool this is cool because it's touch it's like a touch screen it's not a button it's like touch so when this one is is lit up 
you have control with the foot pedal. There's 100 RPMs, 170, wow, 320. <laughs> And then all the way off. Let's try it with the with the up and down. Let's see, down. Okay, so let's go up to 60. Looks like you have more control when you use the buttons here because I wasn't able to get 60 RPMs with the foot pedal. This is pretty cool. Now here is a little box. And in this box, there is a series of tools. This is probably a pouch to put all your tools in. Oh no, it's an apron. <laughs> That's cool. So you don't get all dirty. And then right here, this is more tools. It's kind of cool that they include everything that you need for a complete newbie like myself. Pottery toolkit also included. Let's see how fast it goes on when you use the buttons. I like having the buttons here and that they're touched because I'm thinking if your hands get wet and stuff like that, it's touch, so it'll probably still work. 75. This thing is really smooth sounding. Oh, you can just hold the button down. That's cool. It's not even a button, it's a touch. 320 RPMs. Pretty quiet. So I'm super excited about this. Well folks, that's about all I have for you today on this video of the Vever Pottery Wheel. I really like this pottery wheel. I have a lot of things to learn. Otherwise, I would have cut in some footage of me doing something on this video. But I have so much to learn. I gotta learn how to center my clay and maybe eventually I'll start making cups and bowls and stuff like that. But I'm not at that skill level yet. So I hope you appreciated this video. This is a nice pottery wheel. I do have a friend that does a ceramics and she taught ceramics at a college for over 10 years. She came by and looked at the pottery wheel and she said this is a nice pottery wheel for beginners. So having her blessing on this pottery wheel means a lot to me. She is showing me techniques and it is really cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. If you're interested in this Fever pottery wheel, the link will be in the description box. So with all that being said, folks, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.